What's happening, Crown Point? Another expo class, another drawing day. Do something with your hands today. Hopefully it's this. So what I want you guys to check out right now is the slideshow of all the robots I'm going to be putting on your screen. And I found just a bunch of them for you guys to look at as examples. And you can see that some of them have different shaped heads and different shaped eyes. Some of them have different hands or different ways of getting around. Some have feet, some have treads, some have what look like buttons all over them. Some kind of got this tin can, trash can look to them, and other ones look super futuristic. So take a look at all those images, soak them up. You can always rewind the video and come back and check those out. And why don't we, why don't we uh, start putting some of this into action now that we have some of this in our head. So welcome back to my desk and here we are looking at robots today. So I guess what we need to think of is composition, right? Where how's that thing fit? Does it fit top to bottom? Where's the halfway point? What's the head look like? What's that body going to look like? Where are the arms? Are there multiple arms? Are there multiple legs? Where do we need to start first? What's most important? What do we need to squeeze all in? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here with the head, and I've noticed two really prominent types of uh, head shapes, and either one is domed, or one is a like a rectangle. And so you know, I'm gonna I might do two. Let's see, maybe I'll make room for two on this page. Maybe I'll do one here and one here. Maybe if you guys want to try to do both with me, I'm gonna start doing one with a domed head. So I just draw basically the letter C turned around. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a much shallower C right there. Just barely arced, touching end to end. And what I see next is where does this sit? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go across just below that one and it's going to go back it's going to do this kind of angle and now i'm going to replicate that angle i get that in my muscle memory and i'm going to kind of project where that's going to go and i'm only going to stop there because you know i might add some stuff over here like there might be some buttons or something there in a second so now i'm going to come back to this dome I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replicate that same line on the bottom. And maybe I'm going to have some big eyes on this robot. So maybe I'm going to do a big lump right there and a lump right there. And these are going to be the eyes. So we're going to draw the eyeball kind of inside there. And even though we don't know how robots actually see, I'll get my my big Sharpie out for this one. Not my big, big one. You guys should see the size Sharpie I got the other day. Because I got this guy. I think I, oh, yeah, and then I've got this is the Mega Marker. These are cool. But I might bring that out. I should bring that up for something in this video. It'd be fun. It is like the stinkiest marker I've ever smelled, though. So maybe I got eyes that look like that. Maybe I give him some robot eyebrows. I don't know. Do robots have eyebrows? And maybe over here, I'm going to do a kind of second set of things. So I'm going to do another dome there. Maybe I'll just replicate that line. Now you see I can bring that line through. Now it looks like it's behind. 
Maybe these are some real shallow buttons. Maybe to turn this guy off. So now I've got the, his top of his head. Next thing I'm going to have to start thinking about is where's his leg start? I'm kind of envisioning here. And then he needs something, right? Is he a walking microwave? Is he a walking oven? Who knows? But maybe this guy does have some arms. So I'm going to start with drawing just an arc, kind of like the letter C. And I'm going to draw that arm coming out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm looking back at some of my reference stuff. Looking at some robot arms right now. Maybe I only have that come down like that, which means I can build in the back side of this robot, right? This is going to be a cube. And so he's got the beginning of an arm, but maybe it becomes much smaller. And then maybe it goes back to being bigger. Like maybe this is like braided hose. So you see, I'm going to start making some indications. That's braided or something. And maybe even back up here on the arm, I'm going to kind of connect it again into the body. Now I got to think about maybe what does his hand look like? Are they like scissors? Are they claws? Are they hands? So maybe this guy has some pincher claws in there. There we go. Maybe I put like there we go, a little circle right there. Gives us indication as to that it moves on it pivots off of that i'm just following these lines down and then i've got to think of that line right there and do you see i brought it down and over here i'm going to start projecting these lines i'm going to start bringing this over straight And then I'm going to project this line right there. Maybe I give it the indication that that other arm is out here. And that maybe this arm is just going straight down. So I'm going to keep those same kind of shapes happening. And maybe this has the same or slightly different claw. And I'm going to wait to finish that in until I get there. So now I'm going to start adding some details in the arms here, maybe some rivets. Maybe up here, he's got like a screen. Oh, maybe this could be like his mouth. Maybe it looks like some sort of wavelengths that project or are displayed when he talks. So we could start doing something like that if we wanted. Not only do they kind of look like teeth, but they could also look like bits of sound. You see every once in a while I'm going flat. I'm going to add some more buttons. So maybe I'll just do a circle and then I'm going to draw two little sticks that come off of it and then arc them around so it looks like it's coming out. Maybe I think I need a bunch of buttons down here. And so I just start with a big square. I'm just going to divide that up. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you see I made an L in the corner. I'm going to make an L up in this corner. One, two, three. L, one, and now I can kind of just bring these up, bring those down, bring these in and in. And now you see I'm starting to get the shape of all those buttons. Like it's a 
nine buttons right there. Like a phone or something almost, like an old school phone. And I can give it those little legs off of that square there. Make it look like it's coming off the panel. Maybe I'm just going to put a few circles here. Maybe I'm going to have some slide switches, which are just those rectangles with the legs, drawing them in 3D, and then they can go up and down on this little track. Maybe I put some little circles at the top and bottom there and give it some tick marks, like you might be able to make some readings off of these things. And now we got to think about how this guy gets around. I always think the treads are really cool. So if you watch, this is a tough one to do. I'm going to do, it's going to come forward in an angle, come back. So you see it's got kind of this uh, candy corn shape, but it's missing part of it. And I've got to have that same line follow over here. And so then, do you see I got these rounded corners? And with those rounded corners, I can start making circles based off of those. And then I can start filling this whole thing full of big and little circles. And who knows if that's even actually how treads work. I just know that's how they kind of look. And I got a little gap in between those, so I'm going to keep those nice and full. And I'm just trying to maximize the circles that I can get. Inside. And so now I'm going to turn my paper because this is going to be easier for me to draw my lines that I'm going to want on that tread up and down. So I'm going to start putting those in. There's a line. There's a line. And look at, I'm not even going to always go to the end. Maybe I'll break that line up a little bit. Maybe it does go all the way. Maybe it breaks up a couple times. Maybe it breaks up early and then not later. And that'll just give it some kind of realistic touch. I could keep adding details if I wanted. Oh, got to come back and finish that hand. I didn't do that. There we go. So I got one robot. I'm going to try for another one on the same page. I'm going to flip back and look. So this one had the domed head. I'm going to do a totally different one for you guys. I'm going to do one with uh, the typical, what I call 1950s kind of head and so I'm going to start I see the head body legs so this guy's gonna have legs but you know I'm going to kind of exaggerate some of these things I'm going to I'm going to draw like a trapezoid like maybe he's looking at this guy and now I'm going to turn it into a 3D shape. So do you see I have another trapezoid, so two lines coming off of this straight line here. And now we've got to start making some determinations on what the eyes look like. So at this one I'm going to do a circle and a circle and inside those I'm going to do a circle and a circle, concentric circles. And I can get my big sharpie out Oh, I said I'd use my, my big, big Sharpie. Yeah, look at this guy. Watch how fast I can fill this in. It's not that accurate, though. Watch just this side. I'm going to just color the whole thing in. Boom, 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 boom. And then I can even come and do cleanup. Getting that angle from where I'm sitting is kind of hard. Not long. It's a lot of black. I like that. And so now maybe he's going to have those wacky antennas. So I'm just going to draw a squiggly kind of straightish line there. 
and he's going to have the same type of weird squiggly line on the other side. And so maybe those are the two antennas coming out of his head. And so now we got to start thinking, does he have a neck? What shape is his body? So the last guy kind of had this um, interesting square body. So maybe this guy is going to have a neck that comes up kind of tall and maybe we're going to have some of those lines that rounded line at the bottom maybe we'll repeat that coming up and then there's got to be a way for this to attach in and so what i see right now is i'm going to do a shoulder and i'm going to have the body be kind of uh, bullet shaped in a way so look i'm going to do this i'm going to leave myself the shoulder might start thinking about the arm here and but now i'm going to start thinking about the body shape because it's going to fall off over here and this other arm is going to kind of be hidden so it's going to be kind of like that and i know this will go like that now i can kind of project i can do the arm and then fill that other the rest of the body in later so now i know that i have a shoulder back here All right so i got the front side here backside there and now I've got to start thinking about some arms and so maybe the arms that come out of this robot are attached again maybe they have a little line there maybe they have where they connect to the next section maybe they have another section coming off of that maybe they have what if, oh man, he could have two hands, right? Because he's a robot, there's not rules. And so maybe he'll have one human-ish type hand. And then maybe he has, what if his other one was like a tool? If his other one was like a wrench kind of that octagon shape I guess it's kind of similar to my other one but does it matter not really and so maybe this arm starts coming out over here goes to that first section maybe gets bigger coming back goes to that next section and maybe he still has the two hands that these are going to. And maybe one of those is like some scissors. And maybe another one of those could be like really crazy pinchy claws. Like meant for really little work, right? That's pretty robotic. So now I'm going to come back. Got my four hands, got my arms, and I'm going to kind of get that line in my muscle memory so I can replicate it and I can do this kind of action to see it coming through. And so now I'm going to go ahead and execute that line. There we go. And now I'm going to come up with that bottom fill those lines in maybe he has where he tapers down in size maybe he's got a few buttons on the front maybe he's got a stripe that he could have on the front maybe he has like a little tray or somewhere stuff goes in. Maybe two of those. Yeah, actually like three. Three is a good number. And so maybe now we are looking at doing some legs. So the way I see this, I'm going to just draw some one line. Kind of bent, like he's got a knee. I'm just going to draw another line and put a little, little bit of a curved line at the bottom. 
And we're going to give him some big old shoes. He's really stable. Uh, like, loaves of bread. And now I'm going to make it look a little robotic. So I'm going to put those semi-curved lines coming all the way up. Maybe I decide to add some more of those rivets or some dots, like where he was put together. Or maybe they're screws, machine screws, who knows? Since he's got that real dark on the top there, I'm going to try to make this guy pop a little bit. I'm just going to come through and start shading in on sides. Just to give those varying thicknesses in line. I can also kind of go over some of my mistakes that way when I shade. Really tricky way of covering up your work. But you see it also really starts to pop when you start going through and tracing all these lines. So I might as well just finish this out so you guys can kind of see the value of varied line thickness. And you can even come back through. Let's say I want to go real thick on that back side. You just got to be careful when you join those lines to your existing lines. Come through and do those on the legs. My hand's getting tired. Maybe I come through and shade the crescents. Coming up. There, get his neck. Make sure you get all his arm. Come down and get his shoe. And we're starting to see some differences. Real big. Oh, and you know what? I forgot a mouth on this guy. I don't know if he needs a mouth, but I'm going to add one. And I'm going to give him a smiley face. I'm going to keep going over some of those lines that I just keep catching with my eye that I haven't touched yet. And there we go. Robots in two flavors. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I want to see your drawings. I want to see what you guys are coming up with. I'm having a lot of fun uh, doing some drawing and seeing what you guys are sending back. I really appreciate those guys that are, are turning those in and sharing them back with me because that's why I, I want to do this. I want to see what you guys have. Thanks for drawing with me, Crown Point. I will catch you guys on the flip side.